What's up, YouTube? It's the Console Samurai with Grown Ups Gaming. And as many of you know, I'm a J uh, I am a JRPG fan. I, I love RPGs of all kinds. Uh, Japanese RPGs, Western RPGs, action RPGs. Um, I like the occasional tactics RPG, although it's not really my favorite type. But there's something about a Japanese RPG. I don't know whether it's the themes or the gameplay or the story structure or what, but there's something about a good Japanese RPG that really just kind of draws me in and gets my attention. Well, for the last week, I've been playing Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness, the fifth Star Ocean game from um, Square Enix on PlayStation 4. <clears throat> and I'm actually really enjoying it. It, re it is a really good game. And I was kind of hesitant about it. Um, having played the other Star Ocean games, playing obviously Star Ocean 1, Star Ocean the Second Story, and... Um, Star Ocean Till the End of Time, I think it was, the one on PlayStation 2, which all of which were good. I really enjoyed Till the End of Time a lot. That one was, that one actually was the um, best of those. And then I played The Last Hope, Star Ocean The Last Hope, Last Generation, which came out about like seven years ago, I think it was. And it wasn't very good. It wasn't so bad that I put it down, but it really wasn't so good that I got sucked into it and played it for days at a time. I played a little bit here, played a little bit there. It actually took me about five years to completely beat the game, which I just beat it about a year ago or so. It really took me that long to actually get to the end. And I only played that long because I was hoping that it was going to get better and I was kind of invested in the story, but not enough to really dedicate any large chunks of time to it, to be honest. It just wasn't that great a game. The characters were annoying. The story was, eh. This one, however, is actually really good. The story, the characters are really likable. They're very well designed. Um, they have great chemistry with each other. I like all the characters. I do, I do kind of feel like I like Emerson and Fiore better than the others. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do any spoilers, so don't worry about that. But um, I do like the characters quite a bit. They've done a very good job with the characters, and the story is actually very good. Um, not the greatest story I've ever seen in any video game. Not by a long shot, but it is still a very enjoyable story that I am invested in. And that's something I feel is very important, especially for an RPG, which are very story-based. And you should be invested in the story. In this story, <clears throat> excuse me, this story, as I'm playing, I want to know what's going to happen next. I really am kind of invested in, it in that, like, oh, well, well, i, I got to go to the next place. i got to see what's going to happen. What's going on with this guy? What's going on with that guy? It's, I am, I am invested in it, and I'm really enjoying the game. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, um, I'm, I'm not completely finished with the game. I am pretty close to the end of it. Out of 12 chapters, I am near the end of chapter 10. I got kind of sidetracked with playing some side quests and some of the other stuff that, for people who've played Star Ocean games, you're familiar with the stuff that's in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something in my throat. <clears> throat> um, and that is, that is another thing that they've done very well. The side quests are really good. For people who've played Star Ocean before, you know that crafting is a major factor in the game. You create your new weapons, you create items, you create everything, really. Crafting is a major part of the game to actually get high-level gear. Well, in this game, they've actually kind of given it a little bit of a twist. Instead of having individual characters that are better at different forms of crafting, and you have to figure out the best party to craft with to get the best chances for how to actually make these items you're looking for, they've just added the option to craft all these different things and you level them up individually as a party. Instead of this one being really good at this kind, but kind of taken away from it in this one so you really can't use it because um, if you've played Star Ocean, you know how kind of confusing the whole crafting thing is and they've made it much simpler and much more streamlined. So all in all, I really do think that this... Not only was this game actually worth the seven-year wait since the last one, it is much, much better than the last, the, than the previous one, Last Hope, and it actually might be one of the better ones of the series so far. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? You know, ha have, have you played the new Star Ocean game? Did you play the other ones? What did you think of this one compared to the other ones? Either way, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I'm the Console Samurai, and I'll see you around.